Welcome to Pro Style Podcast, man. Today it's big, man. You see, I'm wearing my jersey. I got my my white socks, my south side going on, man. It's it's a big day. Hey, man, I got my man oh, Tim yeah. Anderson on, man. How you doing, bro? Good, man. Man, so you ready? You ready for this season? Cause I'm excited, man. You know, I, I'm a Sox fan. Yeah. Even when I was a Bears fan, you know, the Cubs did their thing. They won a couple years ago. Excited for them, but at the end of the day, man, I'm I'm riding with the Sox, man. Southside. Oh yeah, man. It's gonna be a lot of exciting things happening, man. We got you know a lot of good, a lot of great guys on the team. Get excited around this time, man. It's okay. Yeah, man. Hey, well, like yourself, you know me. I'm from Alabama, man. Yeah, you know I mean, okay. Like, Roll Tide. I'm from Birmingham. Wait, wait, wait. Roll Tide. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on, man. Roll Tide, man. Who, who, yeah. who you with? Where you go? <laughs> no, man. No, man. You know, I went to Vanderbilt, so I can't root for Ivy. Uh, okay, okay. I, I didn't know that, man. But I didn't know that. If I had to choose back in the day, back in the day, you know, for my Vanderbilt fans, I don't want to, you know, make anybody mad. But back in the day, I would have went, I would have went to Auburn, man. I just. Ah, uh, you know, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, man, you had Cadillac Williams. You had Ronnie yeah. Brown. Yeah. So that's good. Let's that go through there. You know, yeah. I had to. But I hear you was a I hear you was a huge basketball player too at Hillcrest. We actually played you guys in high school. I went to West End in Birmingham, but we didn't play okay. at the same time. But I remember DJ White, man. We actually played. I played against DJ White. Yeah, man. He went on to play in Indiana and then yeah, went to the NBA a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ White, man. He was one of those guys that I thought was he like six ten, something like that. Yeah, yeah. He was real tall. Man, real tall. I, I remember playing against playing against him and he just I mean he would just dunk over everybody like yeah he, man we, we was a big powerhouse basketball school yeah yeah no y'all y'all definitely had those guys yeah, man yeah we, we did our thing man we did our yeah. thing so uh we kind of ran our little area so yeah we, we ended up winning it out winning the championship out here so yeah so how'd you get stuff. into baseball I heard you started a little a little late you didn't get started until like your junior year in high school man I, I always played when I was little but oh. I uh you know, I took some time off because I had fell in love, back in love with basketball, and you know, it kind of took over. And, and but I had a friend that you know got me back out to the baseball field, and you know, it kind of started back up from from there, which was my junior year. That's cool. That's cool. So you you were one of those guys that that as a kid you had that that athleticism, that it factor to you know take time. Yeah, that was, for that was my outlet. That was my outlet, man. So I had to. You know, I had to do something to keep me busy. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and sports was a thing that, you know, kept me busy and kept me going. And, uh, you know, I was able to turn it into a job. Yeah. So, basically, what you're telling me is that if you wouldn't have made it to the Major League Baseball, you'd be in the NBA right now. That's a, that's essentially what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you, man. I said, so, basically, what you're telling me is that if – you wouldn't have made it to the Major League Baseball, you being the NBA right now. Uh, that's not a guarantee. I, you know, I couldn't give you an answer for that because I'm not, you know, I'm not 6'10", 6'6". Six, 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 so, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, I would work hard to try to make that happen, but I'm not saying that's going to happen. You know, let's be realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I got to see your game, though. I got a jump shot, man. You know, ain't, ain't nothing too special about my game, but, you know, I could, I yeah. could, I could do a little work on the court. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, man, for sure. So, anything uh, you looking forward to this upcoming season, like playing against man. the team, any, any major uh, stadium you love playing in? Because for me, I enjoy playing at some of the away games because you have yeah. the kids yelling at you and you just want to just shut them up, right? You just want them to just be quiet so you go out there and you just ball. Yeah, man, you know, when we go into, like, big places like New York and, like, Boston, yeah. man, those, those series are exciting. You get yeah. to play in front of a lot of fans, and uh, you know you also get to play against their fans, and and and, and they root for them, and it's you know it's, it's good to you know kind of hush them up. So man, you know I like playing in, in, in big environments like that, man, and just around a, a lot of fans, and what a, what a, where the game is just you know the, uh, it it's just going, you know, and just really just having fun. But that's my main thing this year, is just to really have fun, and, and you know just and just see what happens, man. You know, try not to do too much, and just yeah. you know play a normal game that I've been doing. And that's big. A lot of people don't understand how sometimes the business aspect of sports could get in the way of the players having fun because you have coaches who are there 
that's their livelihood. The players, that's their livelihood. But at the same right. time, you have to be able to, to continue to be passionate about it. You got to have fun. You got to enjoy it. But I've seen some guys that, you know, lose that fire. They don't have yeah. fun. They don't enjoy being, you know, going through that grind through training camp. They don't enjoy the grind of practice. And it, it becomes, you know, a bit mundane to them. So right. what, what would be your advice to guys who, you know, lose that passion? Like, how can they rekindle that? Man, just, you know, kind of stay, stay hungry, man. You know, when you're going through the minor leagues, you know the ultimate goal is to make it to the big leagues. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you know, nothing is given. You, to, you know, you have to keep working, man. And, and you don't want all that work to, you know, go to waste. So it's kind of just, you know, just keep keep pouring into it, keep pouring into it and and, and, and play with your heart, man. And, and it's going to lead you. It's going to lead you to, to where you want to go, you know. But uh, but you, the ultimate goal is you just got to continue to love what you do. As long as you love what you do, you're waking up and going out and, and grinding out and, 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 and just working hard to get to where, to where you want to be. Yeah, no. Perfectly summed up, man. You have to be able to, you know, find a way to get back to square one because at some yeah. point you loved it. At some point you really enjoyed this sport. So it's like how yeah. do you get back to that, that point where I'm able to go out and not just go through the motion but to actually enjoy it. And I think that's, that's really big for a lot of guys, man, because, you know, the more and the older and seasonal you become as a player, the more right. – mundane things become you don't you, your body's sore you get tired but there's some guys who still push through it and so because they know they know where they want to go yeah, you know, yeah they know what they want to do they know what they want to be in life and that's you know that's easy that's easy to get up and go when you when you have that in your head that man i want to be a superstar man but yeah. you know you have to put in the work to be a superstar yeah so you know that's that's just comes with that, 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 that's what gets me up, man. I want to be a superstar, man. I want to, I want my face to be everywhere. So, you know, yeah. it's no problem for me getting up and grinding and, and you yeah. know, doing things. But at the same time, I get to also provide for my family. Right, right. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. just keep seeing my daughters and my, and my wife happy. Yeah. So that, you know, that keep, that keep my motor rolling. Well, man, I'm going to say, I'm going to just put this out there, man. Like, this is an all-star year for you. I'm going to just go and put that out there. This is an all-star year. My man yeah. is going to take, yeah, take, it, take it over, and his face is going to be on the billboard. All these commercials that we see with Bryce Harper and all these other guys, yeah. the end of it, you know? Yeah, my man, man. That's, that's, that's exciting news. That's exciting, yeah. man. That's exciting, man. I'm so pumped for the season, man. And yeah. just to see what's in store, man, you know, it's, it's been a grind. You know, it's been tough. But, uh, you know, I'm still, I still love it. I still yeah. love what I do, and, uh, you know, I still have fun at what I do. That's dope, man. That's dope. And so for me, I played a little baseball. You know, I was okay. I played center field, but center field's a little different from shortstop. It's it's a little different. Right. You, you got that ball coming at you really, really fast. Yeah, it come it get up on you a lot quicker than when you're in <laughs> center field, man. <laughs> how how are you able to make those plays, man? Like. Like when you see that, when you see the ball and you know it's time, it's time to to zone in and get the job done, man. And you know that ball is coming fast, man. It's like a, a fastball coming from Jay Cutler. Like mentally, you got to be like, you know what, I got to make this play. So, how like how do you right. practice those things on a, like a consistent basis? You know, where you got to slide and throw from your knees. Yeah, man, that just that just goes into you know. Uh, my infield guy, man, Joe McEwen, man, he does a great job at what he does. Shout out to Joe. You know, some some of those some of those plays that I make, man. You know, I, I practice those plays, and yeah. uh, you know, so when game time do come, man, they they're not easy. But I I didn't done this before, right? right. So it's kind of you know, the more reps you get, man, the, the more you're able to slow that ball down and, and 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 have control of your body and know exactly what you're doing. And you know, I think I've been able to get to a stage to where, you know, I. I'm able to slow those things down because when I first came up, man, I had, you know, 20 some errors. You know, I made a lot of errors coming through my league, but, right. you know, man, the work's paying off. You know, I, I, I'm staying at it and uh, just trying to continue to stay at shortstop, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, everybody knows if, if the outfield's an option, man, it, it's an option for me, you know. It's just right. an honor to be in the lineup and, and, and to be in the, the position that I'm in. But, yeah. uh, you know, I want to stay on the infield as long as I can and, and just keep, you know, keep working, man, because I am getting a lot better there and I'm learning the position more. Yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. So I got a question. Pro style yeah. look at the symmetry between hip hop and sports. Yeah. Game day right now. What song do you put on to go out? 
If man, it's, it's right now, be, you, got, you got to get one. Right now, right now, if I gave you one song, I'll yeah. be listening to uh, Time by Lil Baby and Meek Mill. You know, he's been grinding. It's, it's, yeah. it's his time. So, you know, I feel like it's my time, man. So yeah, I yeah, got yeah. you know, to go out and, and, and show these people what I'm made of. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. Well, hey, man, I appreciate you checking in with Pro Style, doing your thing, man. How can the people you know, man. Follow you on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Man, Instagram and Twitter, man, at Tim Anderson 7. Tim Anderson 7, man, y'all heard it. Go check my man out. Hey, man, good luck this season. I appreciate you rocking with Pro Style. I appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Sure, you too.